Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of this channel. Today I will talk to you about Vector, an American car company founded by Gerald Weigert in the 1970s. Vector was considered the first American hypercar maker. It was also known for their astounding performance claims, but most of all, it was known by not making the car in the first place. Yeah, Vector would show up with a prototype, make some outrageous claims and then never produce it. Vector showed his first concept car in 1976, but that car didn't pass the concept phase. In 1978, Vector revealed the Vector W2 and in 1979, a running prototype was built. Vector claimed that the car could achieve an outrageous top speed of 230 miles an hour, or about 370 km an hour, which would have made it, at the time, the, first, the fastest car in the world. This car had a 5.7 liter twin turbocharged Chevrolet V8, the same engine used in Corvettes, and it was coupled to a 3 speed automatic transmission. The prototype ran a, st a staggering 100,000 miles, which equates to about 160,000 kilometers. That's more than any other prototype. Vector pretty much disappeared during the 1980s. In 1989, Vector started production of the Vector W8, which is an evolution of the Vector W2. Two pre-production models were made and one of them was given to Andre Agassi. At the time, Vector warned him to not drive his car because it was a pre-production model, but he drove it anyway, and the car ended up with massive overheating issues. That event le led to Vector's bad reputation in terms of reliability. The W8 featured a 6-liter raw deck twin turbocharged V8 with 625 horsepower, coupled to a 3-speed automatic transmission. The body was made from carbon fiber and Kevlar, which was pretty rare at the time. At the Bonneville Salt Flats, the car achieved an outstanding top speed of 242 miles an hour, or 389 kilometers an hour. 22 units were built and sold to customers and it had a sticker price of $448,000 at the time. After the W8, Vector made another concept called the WX3. Not much is known about this car since the project was cancelled when Megatech bought Vector. Megatech kicked the founder, Gerald Weigert, out of his own company. He still tried to move forward with the plans for the WX3, but he eventually gave up on the company. Megatech had no knowledge in how to make a car, so he called Lamborghini for help. The result was the Vector M12. It had the same 5.7 liter V12 as used in the Diablo, and it had a top speed of 189 miles an hour, or 304 km an hour. However, the car had a lot of quality issues. Top Gear made fun of the poor quality of this car. Megatech decided that they needed to go motor racing to advertise this car, but the car was a failure. It had an awful performance in racing. In total, Vector made 17 M12s from 1995 to 1999 when Megatech gave up on Vector. Weiger took back the assets of Vector and changed the company name from Aftec Motors to Vector Supercars, then finally to Vector Motors. In 2007, Vector unveiled a prototype called the Vector WX8 that had a 10 liter turbocharged engine that produced around 1800 horsepower. The claims were just as outrageous as ever. 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds and a top speed of 270 miles per hour, or around 434 km an hour. That might not seem much, but remember, this was unveiled in 2007. That was outrageous at the time. Not much was heard from Vector since then, which is a shame because Vector had so much potential and it could, be, it could have been the first proper American hypercar maker. But due to the bad luck and the nostalgic takeover of Vector by Megatech, meant that Weigert's dream became more of a nightmare. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to receive the next videos. See you next time, guys. Peace!